Hey you guys, Mike here, and thanks to all of you who supported my recent novel, Primal. It currently reached the top 100 in pulp on Amazon, so thank you once again to all of you. Really appreciate it. Could we one day bring back a full-size Titanoboa? I believe the easy answer to that, the scientific answer, is basically no. But if we think really creative and outside of the box, it might be possible. You know, the idea of a 50-foot-long 2,500 Titanoboa. Now, the chances are slim, but once again, if you're keeping an open mind here, we may be able to get there, may be able to find one of these things one day. In doing research for my next novel, it appears that given the right conditions, meaning extreme humidity with warmth, coupled with plenty of water and a lot of food, things can grow really, really big. Back in the early part of the 20th century, the early 1900s to be exact, animals were a lot larger, a lot bigger than they were today. And I think the easiest explanation for this is that the earth was a lot less populated, a lot less uninhabited. Wild meant truly wild, and things grew a lot larger. And being that the world was less inhabited and built up, these things had a chance to grow huge and pass on their gigantic genes to their offspring. Take sharks, for example. There were some absolute monsters discovered back in the early 1900s. So there's a lot of evidence that points to this, that things were a lot larger back then. Now, the simple fact is that animals had space to spread out, vast amounts of room, and this allowed them to grow huge. Which brings us back to the idea of Titanoboa once again inhabiting the Earth. And while it may seem unrealistic and straight out of the pages of Jurassic Park, I, for one, don't necessarily think it's impossible. Once again, if we keep an open mind. To grow huge, you need an overabundance of food and water. Plenty of space upon which to grow and pass on your genes to your offspring. Now, think back to the idea of humans and the ever-expanding and encroaching fact that we build homes and we have constantly been exerting pressure on nature. So, right there we have been taking away plenty of space for animals to spread out. Now, this constant pressure on the natural world, uh, coupled with overhunting and our never-ending fascination for killing large things, is one of the reasons why you don't see large animals out there today. But in doing research for my current novel, what if there was a place, a biosphere to be exact, a place where nature coupled with the absolute perfect environmental conditions had been left intact for a very, very long time, let's say a hundred years. What about the possibilities then, if all these conditions were in place? Food, water, plenty of humidity, space, and secrecy for a large animal to grow huge. What about the possibility of a massive 40 to 50 foot long snake being created and living? It may not be a Titanoboa, but you may be able to get a large python to that size.